Okay, for the second example, we we're going to use uh, example number 1.2 that we use also for uh, for lesson 1. Okay, so for example number 2, still we we're going to toss, a, uh, toss two coins upward and count the number of heads. So, toss two coins upward. and count the number of heads. Number of heads. Okay, so in this example, we have already the possible outcome. Determine already the possible outcomes, which are which are possible outcomes are H H H T T H and T T. Okay. After that find the corresponding possible values for random variable. So we know already that H H how many heads those uh this there are two heads. H T how many heads? So we have one. T H how many heads? We have one also. And T T or tail tail how many heads do we have here? We have zero. So in determining possible values of random variable, we combine whatever have the same numerical values. That is why. The random variable x has the value 2, 1, and 0. Next. Okay. So, we are going to add another slide here. Okay. So, since we have determined... What we're going to do is simply using the frequency. Okay, we know that using a table, we will going to count, but before anything else, we will going to determine how many are uh, the random, uh, the existence of random variables. So we have two, one, and zero. Okay, we know how many two we have on our previous slide. We have one, two. Okay, how many one we have? That is two. And how many zero? We have one. Okay, so as you can see, we have four possible outcomes. Okay. Here, let's have it our first example. How many possible outcomes we have here? So for possible outcomes, we have... How many possible outcomes we have? Four possible outcomes. Four possible outcomes. Okay. So going back to our slide for number two, we have, of course, four possible outcomes. Okay. So we're going to use that to determine the probability distribution. Okay. Again, to show the probability distribution, we're going to show this one using a table. It is much easier to show the prob probability distribution using a table. So this table is the what we call a probability distribution. So write all the values of x that is two, one, zero. Okay. Next, although it is not uh, needed to write the, the frequency. To make it easier to understand where that the other values came from, we have the frequency that is represented by f of x, or if we were going to call, uh, to call this one, that is the frequency of random variable x. So write down what we have here, this one. These are the what we call frequency. Okay, one, one. 2, 
zero uh, oh sorry not zero but that is of course one and of course the summation of all frequency at the bottom so we have four okay this is your total frequency so note that the possible outcomes also determine your total frequency okay next we have of course since we have uh, already uh, we have already established the f of x so we're going to have the p of x or the probability of random variable x same uh, same process we have frequency of your random variable frequency of your random variable 2 so we have 1 over the total which is 4 okay so that is 1 fourth okay second we have 2 over 4 so that is 2 fourths or lowest term for 2 fourths that is 1 half okay and then same process for the random variable 0 that is frequency for that is 1 and over 4. Okay, so as you can see, we were going to add all the probabilities of your random variable x. So we have 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 1 fourth. Still, the summation of p of x, this is the symbol sigma is the what we call summation okay summation of probability of random variable x is equal to wait i'm going to erase that one okay then go back okay equal equal to one fourth plus one half plus one fourth is equal to one so, this table is a, what we call probability distribution of your discrete random variable. Okay.